For a lot of people in this meeting with a lot of questions, but a lot of questions that residents say they've had before. They want to know what's different this time around. Good evening, Detroit. Good evening. District Detroit developers take their case to the people during a public meeting at Cass Tech to learn what the gigantic, long-promised $1.5 billion transformation plan for the Woodward area downtown could mean for the city, especially so many years after it was initially discussed. An office building of just under 500,000 square feet, and uh, th this speaks to, to a couple of things. One, I think the, the, the need and the benefit of, of density in terms of being able to drive jobs and opportunity, retail jobs, um, and walkability and kind of energy on the streets. But residents came armed with evidence of what they call broken promises from the past. There's the Wayne State School of Business that never materialized. The city gave them a million dollars, and this is how it's left today. That's how it's left today. Isn't that beauty? Leaders from the Illich-run Olympia Development of Michigan and related companies operated by Stephen Ross highlighted 10 projects for the District Detroit area, ranging from a major hotel to large office spaces, shopping centers, luxury apartments, and affordable housing, all in the spirit of what they call mixed-income neighborhoods. We built these across the country, and we really believe that this type of mixed-income housing is, um, is critical to the fabric of, of strong communities. Six of the buildings will be new. The others would be refurbished artifacts like the Fort Wayne Hotel to be updated with floor retail and residential space. But attendees still had questions. Are any of these projects actually hold over from uh, earlier promised projects? Um, so things that were promised that would have been done, for example, in connection with LCA, but were not done. And I suppose, uh, finally, given uh, Olympia's recent history with development here in the city, why should we believe anything we promised? Um, the previous plan, I'm not going to get into the specifics of every single building, but, you know, by and large, a lot of what you see today um, is still continuing um, that vision uh, that was kind of mapped out there at the end. Some of the other issues that came up, how will contractors make sure they get a fair crack at all of the work in terms of construction, and how will all of this close the wealth gap? Conversations that will surely continue. In downtown Detroit, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News.